Welcome to Warriors Anonymous Next Gen for round 22 of the knock-on effect New South Wales Cup as our One New Zealand Warriors look to bounce back after a disappointing effort last week, losing to the Magpies. They were back at home this week, taking on the Parramatta Eels at Go Media Stadium. How would they get on? Let's have a look at the highlights thanks to New South Wales Rugby League TV. And we got underway in the seventh minute with the first scoring play here. Out it would come to the winger, Motu Pasikala. Oh, the young man just keeps getting tries. This is a well-taken one too. Nice quick hands from Temari Martin to Setu Tu. And then quite a bit of work to do here. Pasikala, he just knows his way to the try line. Gets it down to open the scoring. In the 19th minute, oh, Paulie Roach causing chaos in the dummy half spot. And he would give it away to his captain Kalani going. Zoom in under the bar to add to the lead. Look at this again. Just tearing them to shreds. Right down the middle there is Roach. And Captain Kalani, always in support, runs it in for a good try. Warriors extend the lead. Six minutes later, the kick goes up from Temaire Martin. What's going to happen here? The ball bounces around. And then it bounces into the arms, eventually, of Jacob Laban. He picks up the ball and decides, all right, what are we going to do here, boys? I'm going to go on myself. Shrugs away from a few of them. Pretty ordinary tackling in the end. Let's have a look at it again on the replay. The kick went up. And the chasers came through. No one wanted to commit to the ball, especially from the Eels. And then it may have been a little bit of a knock on there, perhaps. Maybe. The referee said play on. And that's what Laban did here, playing to the whistle. Shrugs away from two and three. And then just guns it straight under the bar. Warriors now extending their lead. It's coming thick and fast here, including in the 27th minute. Wally Roach. Been causing problems out of the dummy half spot, and he does again. This time he gets the chocolates himself. Look at this again. Dummy. And just burrows in under a couple of would-be tacklers. The Warriors are absolutely flying in this half, and they will continue to pour it on. Jacob Laban again, running off the short ball from Demaire Martin. Have a look at this play again from going. Came to Martin. He spotted his edge forward. And where he would go. Jake the Must having a good day out there on the left edge. Eels would get a little bit going just before half time into the hands of Ethan Sanders, the halfback. He's a good young player, this man, heading to the Canberra Raiders next year. Away it came from Joshua Lint. Had a bit of work to do as well, Ethan Sanders. It was all him. He dots it down to make it 30 to 4 at half time into the second half. Tain to Opiki. Hits the Jets, the Danger Mouse. He's in the kitchen again. Let's have a look at this one again on the replay. Came from Paulie Roach. Just gave it out to Tuopiki. He spied a little gap. Look at him fly through it. Beautiful stuff to extend the lead. And in the 51st minute, Parramatta would answer back with a little bit of something, something of their own. They would come wide again from Lynn. Gave it to Zach Sini, the fullback, and charging onto it there with Jock Brazel, the second rower. Had a nice gap. Let's have a look at it again on the replay. Came across from the halves. Lynn, Sini, and here's Brazel. Hit it well. And he dots it down for the Eels' second try. More attack coming up here for the Eels. The ball goes to ground and it's picked up by, uh-oh. Here he goes again. Motoplasikala's away. He's in the clear. Can they run him down? The chases are coming from all angles. He shapes back inside. Shrugs away from one. And no one's going to catch him from there. Gets himself a double. Scoring tries all season long as Basikala. And this is another good one as well. From the intercept. What a pickup that was. And away he went, looking around to see who's coming. He knew they were going to come at him. So he decided to try and use one chaser against the other one. And effectively block him off to get his try there. Now, four minutes from full time. There's Bunty with the big hair going. Out to Demaita Martin once again. Setu 2 shifted into the fullback spot. He manages to get a little dish away there. But Eddie Yedemir, wearing number eight, for playing out in the centres. He's played in the second row, he's played in front row, and he's also played a bit out in the centres as well. Has Eddie Yedemir. Let's have a look on the replay. Setu 2 with that little skip and a hop. Steady support play there from Eddie. And this is a good win. What a bounce back that is. Much needed to keep the Warriors right in that top five battle. 46 points to 10, eight tries to two over the Parramatta Eels. Valuable two points here for sure. Next week, another home game coming up for the Waz. They're going to be playing at Bruce Pullman Park in Takanini. So that's next Sunday from lunchtime, New Zealand time. Let's make sure you get along and check that one out if you're in the area. Going to be good to see rugby league getting played 
out of Bruce Pullman Park for sure as the Warriors take on the Rabbitohs as they head towards the finals. Hopefully, they're right in the mix there for the top five spots. Let's see what happens. And we'll have the highlights for that one right here for you on Warriors Anonymous Next Gen. Up the Waz. Go the Warriors! <laughs>